Hey guys, it's Jordan, and in this video I'm going to be discussing the new shift code machine in Borderlands pre-sequel. So it looks like a juggernaut machine from Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies, or even number one, but it's pretty much like the other vending machines over there, like the gun machine and the ammo machine. It's just a machine in Concordia near the box for the keys to get the loot from but it's just machines in there and you go into it and you can put codes in and get keys from it to get codes go online I will leave a link in the description to the page I use to get the keys and you just come here put the codes in the machine and redeem keys now it's pretty simple and pretty cool you just go into it and it'll have some news about the new DLC stuff on Twitter just new news that happens and updates so as you can see here it has the keys that I have not redeemed yet but I have used codes to get the keys now just go over to the right and enter your codes in click submit and these keys will pop up on the left I have a fair amount of keys because I did a 20 key code and I will leave that code in the description for PC Xbox and PS3 so you guys can do that and get your 20 keys as you saw when I clicked on it it redeemed the keys and I now have I think 26 keys I saw I don't know but you go down here to the loot box so you go down here to the loot box and you activate the box using a key it will drop purple weapons just like in Borderlands 2 and you can keep doing this as many times as you possibly can with the amount of keys you have it's unfortunate how it doesn't drop how it doesn't have the chance to do legendaries or what's well, kind of good because it might you'll probably get a lot of blues and stuff but it's good get purples just get free keys from online and you get a bunch of free decent weapons or even grenades or shields or anything but yeah it's pretty good the one, the other thing I like about it the not the key machine is actually the fact they still bring in the main menu loot loot um, shift code um, option so you can go from the menu activate the shift codes via the menu and activate your keys and you don't even have to go into the game and like go to Concordia and find it just to go to the machine so it's good that they still have that just because it's easy if you just want to add some keys in that you have laying around before you forget and you just want to do it from the menu but yeah it's pretty good I ran it full because I've used a fair amount of keys because video purposes I wanted to use as many keys as I could but I feel like I don't want to waste them all but I hope you guys enjoyed I hope this was any way interesting to you and if it was please leave a like and i will catch you guys in the next video Here we go!